Now you're probably thinking, why am I stood next to this car? Well, some new technology has been developed, meaning this car drives itself, would you believe it? Completely hands-free. Now to tell us more about this, I'm joined by David, who's the head of research and development at Nissan Europe. Now David, it's called Human Drive. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, what we wanted to do is, through the project, we wanted to build a vehicle that was highly autonomous, but had human-like feeling to it. Now, that's really important because today, 93% of accidents are caused by human error. But if we want people to use this technology, it's got to feel natural to them. And that's why it's called Human Drive. Now, it's just gone on a landmark trip across the whole country almost. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, I mean, the vehicle has just done a 230 mile autonomous drive from here in Cranfield to our factory in Sunderland. And this is the most complex journey an autonomous vehicle has ever done in the UK. And it's part of a consortium that we've got together. Now, the key thing about the vehicle is we had to build a lot of sensors into it. You can see we've got LiDAR and we've got cameras and we fuse all of this together as well as accurate GPS to enable the vehicle to determine where it is on the road and then we can plot the safe route to go. So in emergencies or severe weather, how does the car deal with that? Well, basically the car is able to see a lot of the conditions around it. Now, that's really important, especially when you think about the UK roads, where we have country roads, we have no white lines, we have no curbs, and then we have to merge into roundabouts. Now, that's only possible if we take the output of the different sensors and combine them together so that the vehicle can see in 3D space where it is and it can concentrate on making sure it's in the right position. So is the future? Absolutely. You're not going to see this technology on the road tomorrow, but what you are going to see is that parts can be progressively added to vehicles. We already have ProPilot today. We will continue to improve that on our vehicles. And then one day in the future, you'll be able to buy a vehicle like this that can drive autonomously. David, thank you. Well, at the moment, it's still in research and it's going to be on the road, not yet, but sometime in the near future.